All right, box scenes here with Peter Manfredo. First off, um, what are your thoughts on the stoppage with your fight with Chavez? It seemed a little bit quick. Yeah, it was quick, but it is what it is. But again, this is boxing. Um, and I had a good career, I had a good run, and that's it for me. Were you surprised they stopped it? It seemed like you were slipping a lot of the punches. You seemed like you were initially caught, you were hurt, but you were starting to recover. Yeah, I was. I was I was fine. You know what I mean? I was a little wobbly at first when he called me with the shot, but I started coming out of it. I started making a miss. Kind of, kind of reminded me of the Kawasaki thing, but I at least uh, I grabbed on this time, and that's when they stopped it. What are you gonna do? That's part of. I don't, I don't understand boxing anymore, but I don't have to. I'm, I'm done. I'm, I don't have to understand. I'm out of it. I'm, I'm gonna throw back to the old school, where I like, I like rock and sock and robot type of thing. Where come on, let's fight. I mean, this is what we get paid to do. This is what the fans come to see. But they don't really let it happen no more. Once you got here, they, uh, they stop it quick for the, I guess, uh, safety. It seemed like you were having your best round of the fight up until you got caught with that punch. Um, you Lang, he didn't only land, but maybe one or two punches before that, and you were really hitting him. What happened? He just caught you, or? Yeah, yeah, I didn't see it, obviously. That's why I got caught with it. Uh, but yeah, he caught me with a good shot. I, someone said a right hand. Um, caught me with it. I, but then I, I started recovering. He caught me with a good shot. I started recovering. Like I said, you've you seen. I started missing, making him miss, and slipping shots. And then I started grabbing. I said, let me grab him. Because I remember Kawasaki was going through my head. I said, they're going to stop it. So I, I grabbed him, and then they, they stopped it anyway. Were you starting to get like more confidence in the fight? Because it seemed like you were yeah. building momentum. Well, I knew I had to. You know, I knew I had to. I wasn't going to beat him here in a decision. That's for sure. I had to. I had to put, press the pace. I had to push it in, and I had to take more chances. And I, by taking those chances, that's what got me caught with a shot. I think. But that's a shot I took. You know, I I knew I was coming in here with my my back against the ropes. I had to take chances to win. Were you coming in thinking you had to knock him out? Yeah, went in Texas. Definitely, definitely. You know, this is his home away from home. You know, not just knock him out, but down or dominate him. And I know that's why I had to, you know, put the pressure on him, go after him, and uh, take chances and take shots. And that's what I did tonight. Were you surprised by the tower? I was. I was. I didn't think he hit that hard. He hit pretty hard. Not as hard as Sagio Bika, but he hit pretty hard. <laughs> and you said that if you lose, this is probably it for you. Is that definite? Yeah, I'm done. You know, I got a beautiful wife, a beautiful family. I'm going to go enjoy them, though. And what do you want to say to all the fans out there? I want to thank them all. And um, sorry I couldn't give you I wanted to give you 12 rounds of that. Uh, but that coin. And thank you for a beautiful, wonderful career I had. Always supporting me. And, you know, there'll be another guy like me. Don't worry. And all of the fans in the Northeast, I know Vinny Paz was out here, yeah. all the other Italians. What do you want to say to them? I want to say forget about it. <laughs> all right, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Ready?